Hey guys, Brian with the Y here. Um, I just had such a fantastic day uh, flying today. I got to share some aviation with a friend of mine. And anytime I get to fly with friends and share aviation with people, it's so much better than you know just going out solo and, and burning holes in the sky. I got to fly with my friend Experimental Rob today. Um, and we, we call him that for two reasons. Uh, the second reason is because he flies an RV. If you don't know much about RVs, an RV is like the Cirrus of the experimental community, only not as fast. Um, but what was interesting was this was Rob's first time flying in an aircraft that was certified and safe. It wasn't built by a dude in his garage who was drunk most of the time. So I don't think he was super comfortable being in the aircraft, um, mostly because of all of the electronics involved. Rob really doesn't like all of the EFBs and the iPads and all this stuff that people are flying with nowadays and he says it's a distraction. I personally think it's because of his advanced age. He doesn't understand how they work. But we went flying and uh, here's a quick clip. So the flight started off just fine. Uh, takeoff was perfectly normal. Here you can actually see Rob flying the plane and he seemed to be having a good time. But then at one point he looks at me and says, did you build this aircraft? I said, no, Rob. He said, do you know who did build it? I said, Rob, this is a certified aircraft. It's built by Cirrus. That's when he lost it. He panicked. He said, land the plane immediately. I put the plane down in the closest airport I could find and he hopped out and walked away. I haven't spoken to him since. But anyway, after we landed, I thought, you know what, I should cover some of the um, electronics that I use when I fly because I personally think that they're important. I think they accentuate safety. I think they make uh, me a safer pilot. I think they make everybody a safer pilot. You know, it's awareness, it's data, it's information. Sure, you don't want to go overboard. Let's jump in the plane and look at, uh, at kind of my setup. So I just use the basics. I've got the uh, iPad for four flight, which is uh, really common, I think. And then I've got typical backup panel right here in case something happens to this panel. I've got uh, some altimeter information. I got my clock for timing. I got uh, live uh, ATC feed. This is really important in case your radios go out. These are you can't trust them. And, and this one here, I'll actually I'll admit this. I just use this one for uh, for mining diamonds. Uh, it's good when you're uh, on autopilot on a long cross country. A lot of people will say, oh, that's too many gadgets in the plane and it's going to be distracting. But I challenge you with this. These instruments in this aircraft are nine years old. That altimeter is a nine-year-old altimeter. You know what? You wouldn't eat a nine-year-old steak. You wouldn't live in a nine-year-old house. But you're going to trust your life and the lives of your friends and family to instruments that are past their freshness state? I wouldn't and I'm not going to. And so I'm going to fly with the technology that I know is going to keep me and my family safe. And you should too. Now someone's going to chime in and say that all these things are blocking my field of view. Well, I ask you, are they really blocking my field of view? Are they? No, I don't think so. Look at that. Now I got a better view of, of anything than my eyeballs would give me. Now look at this. Oh, so you've got a traffic two miles opposite direction. I can't see it. I can't see it. Well, that's not a good example. I can't see it. I can't see it. Oh, look at that. Traffic in sight. Now I can zoom in way better than human eyes. See that? That's not a touch screen, but if it was, that would have zoomed. Anyway, I believe in being safe and doing whatever it takes to make sure that I'm the safest pilot in the sky and that I'm keeping my friends, my family, all my loved ones safe, and I'm not going to cut corners anywhere. Let's go fly. This is better than eyes. Uh, my name's Ryan, and I was flying with my friend, that's my dog, his name is Tiger. That tastes delicious. He's a big dog. My name's Brian, and I was flying with, that's my dog, that's my dog, he's a huge dog. <laughs> I taste good. I'm going to have to restart this one. Hi, my name's Brian, I recently went on a fright with my, it was a fright. Anyway, Rob says that I fly with too many... That's my other dog. I can't do anything outside. Her name's Dottie, because she's got dots. And she was named by an eight-year-old. All kidding aside, I really appreciate uh, you letting me uh, take you for a ride in the series, Rob. It was a lot of fun. Now you owe me a ride in that flying go-kart you built.